if you if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to anyway I'm we're going to get a lot done hell yeah I'm sure of that seems so judging by the speed you'll work through all the topics <laughs> We discussed the need to help states with Title 32 funding for the National Guard. That's a fancy way of saying governors, governors need to be able to get funding when they dispo, when they dis, they need to uh, and, and bring, bring their National Guard into play. And National Guards are going to have to play this. It costs a lot of money. We talked a lot about with the governors about what the immediate needs are. I'm going to, we're going to impose the, we're going to enforce the, excuse me, employ the Defense uh, Reconstructed Act to be able to go out there and dictate companies build and do following things. We need much more. <laughs> excuse me, sir. Could you please explain this again? I didn't quite get it. To me, it almost sounded like you were talking about disposing, imposing, enforcing, and dictating things you suddenly realized you shouldn't say out loud. But you wouldn't withhold information from us, would you, Mr. Freudian Slip? You gotta love life events. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the... Go, you know the, you know the thing. <laughs> yes. Oh my God! Stop it, Joe! You're killing me. I totally love it. We choose unity over division. We choose science over fiction. We choose truth over facts. And so, folks. Yeah, truth over facts. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Margaret Catherine. I uh, I love those barrettes in her hair, man. I tell you what. And look at her. She looks like she's 19 years old, sitting there with her. Like a little lady in a race car. No, 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 no. Oh, no, Joe. She doesn't look anything close to 19, okay? And you probably shouldn't say that out loud either. You're creeping me out. We should challenge students in these schools to have advanced placement programs in these schools. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Uh, no comment. No man has a right to raise a hand to a woman in anger other than in self-defense, and that's rarely ever occurs. And so we have to just change the culture, period, and keep punching at it and punching at it and punching at it. It will be a big... Pr no, I really mean it. It, it, make, it. It's a gigantic issue. Yeah, <laughs> violence isn't the solution, ladies and gentlemen. You got to change the culture by punching it, punching it, punching it. Kicking it, holding it down, until there is uh, no more uh, violence left, yeah. That sounds about right. How do we get to the place where, you know, Putin decides he's gonna just invade Russia? Nothing like this has happened since World War II. Putin may circle Kiev with tanks, but he'll never gain the hearts and souls of the Iranian people. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Have a nice day.